കൊച്ചു കൂട്ടുകാർക്ക് കഥകളും കളികളും അറിവുകളുമായി കിഡ്സ് മലയാളം Albert Einstein was a famous scientist but before that he was a curious little boy he loved to play he ran in the grass and stared up at the sky one day when he was 5 years old albert got very sick he had to stay in bed for a long time i hate being stuck in bed albert said Albert's father knew that his son was sad. He decided to buy Albert a gift to cheer him up. He went to the store the next day to look for a present. At the store, Albert's father saw a little copper compass sitting on the shelf. Hmm, he said. I think Albert might like that. Albert was in bed staring out the window at the stars when his father came into the room. Did you know that sailors once used the stars to tell them which way to go? Albert's father said. Albert shook his head. His father put his hand in his pocket and pulled out the compass. Now they sail with these, his father said. He handed the compass to Albert. Sailors learned that a magnet always points north. Little Albert sat up. He held the compass in his hand. He turned the compass left and right, but the iron needle always pointed in the same direction. "Do north," his father said and smiled. But how does it work? Albert wondered. He stared at the compass intently. He played with the compass every day in bed. He wanted to know what it was that made the needle point north. Albert was so curious that when he went back to school, he decided to study more about the compass. The things he learned gave him new ideas about space. time and energy when he grew up these ideas changed the world albert einstein had been a curious boy the gift from his father was small enough to fit in his pocket it was just a little copper compass but the curiosity it inspired gave the world a gift as great as the stars in the sky Sam was a boy who didn't mean to be bad, but he often did things that made people mad. He'd soak his little sister with a water balloon or make a big mess and get sent to his room. One day after school, Sam was passing a store when a salesman called from inside the door. "Why so sad? What's the matter, my boy? The weekend is here for you to enjoy." I hate homework," said Sam with a frown, "and I'm in trouble for being the class clown. I'll be grounded when my parents find out. I'll have to do chores all weekend, no doubt." The clerk replied, "Now I see why you're sad. I recall being grounded when I was a lad." "Isn't it the worst?" said Sam with a groan. "I want to escape my troubles at home." The salesman agreed. I know what you mean. I have just the thing, my adventure machine. You'll find 1000 ways to have fun without any homework or chores to be done. It sounded great. Sam jumped into the chair. He scanned all the lights blinking in there. He pushed a button and became the king. with throne and castle and minstrels to sing Sam tried a new button and became a big star with a mansion a fortune and a shiny red car A circus performer is what he was next 
and then a huge dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Each was amazing, with many places to go. When Sam was done, the man wanted to know. My adventure machine, isn't it clever? Feel free, my young boy, to stay in it forever. Sam said, This machine is quite good. Some might stay in it, but I don't think I could. I bug my sister and make mom and dad mad. But if I disappeared, I'm sure they'd be sad. So Sam went home and was sent off to bed. He missed the king's crown on top of his head. But as he fell asleep, of one thing he was sure. If he kept the machine, he'd miss real life more. Ningal kirishta maingil channel subscribe chayan marakarade. Kududal video gal ningal kilepikyan bell icon click chayuga.